Hello, people of the worldwide interweb. Today on the desk, we have a staking set for watchmakers. Um, and in my journey of uh, learning how to work on clocks and watches, I stumbled upon this one. It is almost a complete set. More or less, most of the important parts are here. I am missing some of these small punches here. But uh, what you notice is that uh, there's, there's a little bit of uh, rust on each one of these little stakes and that's that's not good because if you're running it in and out here all the time then you're going to eventually wear this sleeve out and then you'll get mechanical slop so that's no good look at that <laughs> it's pretty neat it even came with a, the world's smallest compass I wonder what that's all about uh, I will be trying something that I've never tried before I'm going to uh, use evapo rust. No, this is not, I'm not sponsored or nothing. I just uh, heard that this is a very good and gentle uh, solution to getting rust off and not affecting any of the metal or even paints. So I'm gonna give it a try. I think that's a perfect solution for this. So let's get into it.
So I've been layering this, probably I got maybe about four or five coats on the outside of the box. Um, and this is just a, a two and a half pound cut shellac. And I had this sitting around. This is only good for about six months once you've mixed your shellac flake with the, your denatured alcohol. So I want to use it up. It was probably lacquer to begin with on this box, but uh, anyways, the shellac will do a great job as well. And I'll show you how I'll put the finishing touch on this. So what I will do is I will take some paste wax and some four zero steel wool and just basically buff it out, rub it out to a nice smooth finish. And that'll take care of all the brush strokes and uh, some of the uneven parts that uh, showed up here. So we will get into that. Also off camera, I had a little bit of a malfunction with the camera. I uh, polished up these, uh, these clasp for the box. So that, that looks pretty good. Just regular uh, paste wax and some four zero steel wool. And uh, we'll bring this to a nice sheen. After removing the punches from the evapo rust, I noticed that there was a fine residue. So what I'm doing now is using a cotton wheel and some buffing compound to bring everything back to a nice sheen. I'm paying special attention to the tips of each one of these punches, especially the hollow ones. I don't want to hit that on the cotton wheel too much and round over any of these sharp edges or fill up the tips of the hollow ended ones with buffing compound. This process took quite a while, but I'm glad I did it because the outcome was beautiful. You'll see at the end. I've learned a very valuable lesson from Evapel Rust, and that is to be careful with your blued steel because if it stays in the vapor rust for too long, it will remove your bluing. So unfortunately, I will probably have to re-blue a few of these pieces at a later date. The paste wax has had a sufficient amount of time to dry. And now what I'm doing is buffing the rest of it off with a nice soft and clean cloth. This should bring it down to a nice smooth finish.
So this pretty much wraps up this restoration here. I kept the original paint, didn't paint it or nothing. Just shined it up a little bit with some uh, four zero uh, steel wool. And uh, yeah, the stakes, uh, the punches turned out pretty sharp. They all look pretty good. And the box doesn't look too bad either. And I even cleaned up that little compass that I found in the bottom of the box. It's too bad that the glass is broken, but uh, for some odd reason that belongs with this set, so we're gonna keep it in there. <laughs> That's just shellac. But then we hit it with that uh, 4 0 uh, steel wool with the paste wax. And when I put my hand across here, it's just, it's smooth like glass. So that's that. Thank you for watching. And I will catch you on the next one. Bye for now.